Hi guys, welcome back to day 28 of the book advent birthday thingamabob. And we're not going to take too long to get into this because if you've been watching right along, you know what happens. And if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell icon to be notified of the future videos. Again, we got a few more to get through. We're only on day 28. It's a little less thick than yesterday's. So if you haven't seen yesterday's video, make sure you go check that out. And yesterday I showed my cameraman first. Today I'm going to show me first. Okay, well, let's see what Terry has in store for me for this book. Once I figure out a way to open it. Okay. <laughs> this would have been a good one to have facing my cameraman first. <laughs> the official movie novel, Five Nights at Freddy. <laughs> We actually watched the movie weeks ago, and if you could see the look on my cameraman's face right now, he's giving me a, like, really? Because he likes Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, and we watched the movie, so, okay. This, I don't know, cameraman, are you going to want to read this after me? Yes. <laughs> my cameraman wants to read it after me, so let's see what I think. Okay, so, Five Nights at Freddy, adapted by Andre, uh, Andrea Wagner? I'm <laughs> her name up here so I'm sure some of you that are watching have heard of the Five Nights at Freddy game and then there was a movie and this is pretty much like the official movie novel and I do feel because I my teenager and I did watch the movie that this did follow the movie pretty well so pretty much if you're somebody that maybe doesn't want to watch the movie because for whatever reason you want to imagine the stuff in your head more that I would say this is a good a good companion to the movie because it won't make you feel like you're reading this and going, well, that didn't happen, that didn't happen, that didn't happen. So it was a good representation, and it talks about Mike, who is a security guard. He's been fired from other jobs in the past. Years and years ago, his brother disappeared, and he's been kind of tormented with that because he kind of felt like it was his fault. And so he's trying to relive that to figure out what happened. And so when he gets this new job, he starts even sleeping on the job and dreaming, kind of trying to figure that out still. And then, of course, he's starting to notice things going on at Five Nights at Freddy. He has a sister that's kind of quite a few years younger than him, and he's kind of the primary caregiver of her. And there's an aunt that kind of wants to take her from him. And so there's kind of that struggle going on in the book. And it was kind of, and then Abby kind of comes along with him one night and starts kind of interacting with the animatronics. And as you go along, you kind of start going, uh oh. Uh oh, <laughs> kind of like similar to how you probably did in the movie. So I thought it was really good pace. I mean, it gave you a couple viewpoints that were different than the movie of the thieves that try to come in and wreak havoc a little bit. So you do get a smidge of a different point of view for a second. And I don't really know all the lore of Five Nights at Freddy. So I'm not going to be able to give you like this was accurate or that or what was actually the lore in the book. I just read it. I did like it. I gave it four stars. This came out 2024, so this year. And it was about 320 some pages, so not too bad of a read. It was a fairly quick read, which I like because the pace was good. That's always a plus for me. The pace is a big thing, and I mention it a lot because if you're a reader like me, you know how hard it is when the book just starts not having a good pace. You know, and you find yourself trudging through it. This I did not find myself trudging through. It felt like it went really well. It felt like it was still interesting, even though I had saw the movie and knew pretty much what was coming, I still was invested in the story reading it as well. So I thought that was a very big plus. And I don't really have too much else to say. I mean, I just feel like they did a good job making it from movie to book. I'm curious if anyone's done that before where you've seen a movie based and then they made the book. Most of the time I read the books and then find out they made the movie. And then I yell in the movie because things aren't matching up. So let me know if you've ever come across this where there was the movie or the game first, then the book. Because that would be kind of interesting to see. But yeah, I mean, oh, I forgot how cute the little guy with the candle on his hand. Can you see it? Isn't that cute? I know he's not cute, but isn't it cute on the cover? I can say they're cute on the cover. My teenager's behind the camera shaking their head at me very badly. <laughs> so yeah, give this a read if you like the Five Nights of Freddy feel. I think you'll like this as well. Again, really quick, four out of five stars for me. And Terry got this actually at Walmart. It's like one of the newest books, I think, so far that she's given me. So, yeah, if you like Five Nights at Freddy, I'm pretty sure you'll like this. And as always, check the description box for any links to my social media.
to Terry's YouTube channel. I know she would appreciate it if you pop over there. And have a great day, everyone. But no nightmares.